Hey guys, I thought I'd uh, just show you how I, I sleeve things. It's pretty simple stuff. First thing I do is I, I, I depend the Molex, put a little piece of heat shrink over it just to keep all the ends from snagging. And then I use some of this lovely stuff here, which I've heat sealed the end. Okay, and get it started on in there if it will be so obliging. Get it going. And see, when you push, it expands. And the way I get my length is as I stop right about where I want to stop, leaving enough room that I can cut it and push it on past. This way I don't have to guesstimate how well it's uh, going lengthwise. And as you can see, you got about that much there. So, and what I can do here is I just cut that there. I use a diagonal a clipper, melt it. Okay, just to get the ends to fuse together. Okay, not too much. Don't get crazy. You just don't want it to be fraying all over the place. Okay, and push it on past. Got it about where I want. Okay. Good enough for what I want. Could be just a little bit shorter, which is easy enough to adjust. All you do is just pull it out again, snip it. Okay. I think I need to take about an inch something off of there. Again, melt it. Okay, and push it on while it's still kind of soft so that it'll go over it. Okay, now I'm going to have about this much that I can put heat shrink over, and I'll have about the same on the other end. Okay, I'll take some heat shrink that'll fit over it. Okay, that'll fit. Okay, I'll take some of this, cut myself a length that's appropriate to what I want. I slip it over the whole deal. And then I slip it over the whole heat shrink. And I just push it on down to the very end. And it's better to grab a hold of this end and just go zoop. And you bring it on down there and get it over that end the way you want. And then you come back and do it again. And then you heat each, heat each end with a lighter. And then cut the heat shrink off the pens that I put on there. And put it back on the Molex housing and you're done. Now before I heat it, I like to cut it first. You don't want to cut the insulation or anything, you just want to cut the heat shrink off of there. Okay. And the way these go back on is, there's a ridge that you can feel, and that's where the yellow one goes, then two black and a red. So you just do them like this, they're all in it at the same time, and you push them until they click. Then you test it, make sure it's right, pull that up. And that looks nice. I have a fan going, so it's not making my life any easier. But without a fan, it's a lot easier. And what I do is I just watch what the heat shrink is doing, and I keep the flame moving. you got to make careful that you do not melt the Techflex. And that's how that works. I'll, the, I'll heat shrink the other end in a second.